What's up, guys? This is Simmons Vengeance, and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, your 8 no UAB Blazers are at home taking on the number 15 Auburn Tigers in a rematch of last year's national championship game and in another SEC matchup. If you guys are excited for today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below for more content. So, we'll take a look at recruiting. Um, we've done really good in the recruiting class this year. Um, and if it seems like I'm wearing the same shirt, I'm doing a bunch of recordings all at once. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to change shirts right after recording. Oh, oh, God, make sure I change my shirt so I can, uh, you know, make sure I'm wearing a different shirt every, every recording. Nah, it's not going to work like that, man. I don't do that. But anyway, take a look at... You know, so I'm recruiting, and we're falling behind on Ben Smith. Um, I really want this guy, but we're catching up in points, which means we're staying ahead of the game. We still have a visit that we have about at week five, or not week, not week five, week thirteen. Um, so we're doing all right there. And Trey Taylor, we got a lead on him, although Southern Miss is catching up by a lot. Uh, but wow, Alabama should be out of the race, but they aren't. Um, Probably because they're just Alabama. No one wants to play for Alabama anymore. They're they're terrible. Um, at least they're two and, they're two and five this year. At least in the dynasty, they're terrible. Um, we got a lead on him. Got a lead on him. We are in good shape for a lot of these players. After that big win against Notre Dame last week, uh, we still have a little bit of work to do here on Brandon Goodman, but we're all right there, I guess. We got a good lead on uh, Jared Wiley. Brandon, uh, Brian Oliver, we're kind of falling behind on, but that's okay. Shane Franklin, we got as a backup in case we don't get Brian Oliver, which, you know, it's it's kind of a constellation prize. Um, but now we get to go into what I like to call the top 25. Uh, guess who's number one? These guys. This guy right here. Number 20. Number one in the nation. And there's a lot of surprise teams in the top 25 this time around. Uh, we got Iowa at number. Uh, we got Iowa at number three, but Georgia Tech two, UAB one, California two or four. I can't get my numbers right today. Texas is five. Even though they've been undefeated this whole season, they haven't been getting a lot of love. They started out number two. I think they started out number one, and they dropped all the way to five. Um, so they've had a, a rough start to their season. Uh, they've been winning games, but they keep dropping in the polls. Uh, you got Oregon at six, Oklahoma State seven, Tulsa at eight. And this is a shocker. Tulsa, a team that used to be in the Conference USA, or the, the American. I don't know if they used to be in the Conference USA, but I think they were. Um, but I remember Tulsa uh, used to be in that conference. So uh, they've moved up in the world, and they're number eight in the nation. Miami, nine. Oklahoma, 10. We got Clemson, 11. Notre Dame, 12. Navy, 13. Georgia, 14. Auburn, 15. Ohio State, 16. Missouri, 17. Oh, TCU 18, Maryland 19, Houston 20, Mississippi State 21, South Carolina 22, Boston College 23, Tennessee 24, and Washington 25. Other receiving votes are Vanderbilt, Nebraska, Stanford, UC, uh, Syracuse, UCLA, and Air Force. Vanderbilt and Virginia Tech dropped out. So that's that's the rounds out the top 25. And now we're going to take a look at conference standings here to see where we are in the SEC. Obviously, we're number one, but we're fighting for that SEC championship game with Mississippi State, which we have a showdown with them in, a, I think it's a couple weeks, because I think next week we take on Texas a and i I'd have to look at the schedule. We'll take a look at that real quick while we're at it. Uh, next week, we take on Mississippi State at Mississippi State. So it's going to be a battle of SEC teams that are fighting for their first place in the SEC. Um, so Auburn obviously has been out of it. Alabama's been way out of it. They're two and five. They haven't had a great year. Uh, Texas A&M one and six. Uh, they haven't had a great year either. Of course, of course, it's because of their defense. I mean, their defense is like a floodgate. Uh, LSU, Arkansas, Ole Miss, and in the SEC East, you have Georgia, Tennessee, fighting for that number one spot. You got um, Florida and Vanderbilt and Kentucky, kind of meddling around here at four and three or, or two losses a piece in the SEC they could still probably get in kind of there's a lot of SEC games left uh, you got uh, South Alabama and South Carolina both at the bottom of the SEC kind of you know I, I, I keep saying this about South Alabama they may be you know in the SEC they don't feel like they belong but they've kind of they've been all right for themselves um, Missouri at four and two but they've been one and two in the conference they got a lot of conference games up ahead so we'll be looking at that as well 
And of course, we cannot forget about the Heisman race. The Heisman race is key. It is key to success in our dynasty. Justin Kelly still up there at number one, of course, because he's Justin freaking Kelly. But anyway, we're going to get on with this game against Auburn. It's going to be a good one. I will see you guys on the field. And we are underway here in Birmingham as Daniel Alexander, the most dangerous return man alive, is ready to receive the kickoff. Oh, look at that return. Beautiful 40-yard return. The most dangerous man in returning in the UAB history, period. That play would have worked if I would have gotten the protection I needed to make that play happen. I almost want to see that, that linebacker blitz. That linebacker that's supposed to be covering Alexander. Oh, but Daniel Alexander is going to find himself wide open anyway because he's just that big of a boss. And you know what we're going to do on third down? We're going to give it to the big fella, G.J. Marshall. Look at that. Beautiful. Five yards from the big fella. I think, I think people are underestimating how good Aaron Hardy has been since Cedric Maxwell has been out. Look at that run. Beautiful run right there. Finding the holes on the defense and just exploiting them. He's a 79 overall, and we are already going away on this this drive. We're gone on a drive. Alexander wide open. Oh, Jukes out a defender and gets 20. Let's go. Already first and goal. But give it off number 26. That's six. Aaron Hardy has been really good. He's been really, really good for, for us for the past few weeks. Heck, he even came in and played quarterback. Get barely a yard on that play. I like it. Do I smell a screen pass? Oh, it's intercepted! They've already started! They've already started! They've already started trying this crap, man. Oh, man. Do I smell a screen pass? All right. We about to get another six points here. Justin Kelly for six. Oh, that was good. That was a good run right there by JK. If there was a difficulty for play calling, this shit would be, this would be on Heisman 2.0. And I, they ran another screen pass. They've ran all four this passes. This isn't going to happen all game. They're going to run more screen passes. I think they're just getting the bull crap out of the way. And they get another first down from that. And I was actually kind of prepared for it. Can I expect another one? I want to see another one. I want to see it. It's going to happen. Oh, intercepted again. Robert Roth. Right place, right time. Block, 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 block. Oh, man. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Oh. He's got some wheels on that. That quarterback's got some wheels. All right, James Hester on the screen pass. Look at that play. That was beautiful. First down. I like that play. For running the same plays over and over again. Look at the computer. They're they're bad. They're really bad. Get a block. Get a block. Justin Kelly. Touchdown again. Oh my god, this is going to be a slaughter. Screen pass. Oh, it's almost picked off again! This quarterback is garbage! Here comes Justin Kelly. Number seven, Justin Kelly. Oh, Frank Clement, wide open. I haven't got him the ball in such a while, long while, man. He needs a catch. I thought I could take a chance on second down, but I was avoided. I avoided a sack, so we're lucky. Third down. Hand off Aaron Hardy. Look at him go. Give the boy the ball. Six carries, 28 yards. He's doing good work. All right, third down, yo. We got to make something happen. Make something happen on third down. Off the gut, Aaron Hardy. And he's going to get four. Okay. Needed one, but got four, because that's how much work he likes to put in. From the one-inch line. We are going for it. Here 
Oh, we got it. There we go. <laughs> William Davis, touchdown. Something that actually paid off. Oh. I thought he was going to get me from behind. You're down 28 to nothing. Now you start to play desperation football. You're starting to get desperate. Oh, I almost got that. Way to hit him, Rogers. Way to square up on him. I'm just waiting for him to screw up. I'm waiting for that screen pass. I'm waiting for it. He scrambles. Oh, come on. Not a face mask. God. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. Boy. Concentration laps right there. Boy. Oh my god, he had the luckiest play of all time right there. You could not have gotten any more lucky than that. He got like it was a lame duck, and somehow it ended it happened to be a guy who was wide open on his team. And you can get your freaking touchdown and you can have it. I don't care. You're still down. Check the scoreboard, bro. Check the scoreboard right behind me. Or, what what does that say? You gotta keep your hands on the ball. Hands on the ball, my friend. Ah oh, shoot. Oh, it's intercepted! Good job, Mueller! Way to be there. Kelly's only 11 of 18, which is fine. It's not a bad statistic, just eh. Daniel Alexander! No one's gonna catch him, and they caught him. Eh. 30 yards later, first down. All right, we need to get some end zone time here. Oh, Daniel Alexander's like, no, no, just no. <laughs> I love that dude. He's so good. He's like a Wes Welker in a way. All right, defense. Let's get it. Nope. 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 Okay, you're not going much further than that, Sanders. He throws it. Got it. Hey, 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 Brennan Carter, I got an idea for you. How about you? He's gonna try and scramble. God, I hope I rip his head off. I hate quarterbacks that do that. Like, how do you how do you mess up this badly early on in the game and not and then start to pick up your game later on? I don't get that. You can have it. I don't care. You're you're still losing this game. Third and third and eight. We gotta get a first. Oh, William Davis. Thank you. Twenty-one yards later. First down. Second down. McAfee. Oh, okay. Don't tell me Aaron Hardy's in at quarterback. No, it's oh, it's McLean. That's right. Frick. But he gets a touchdown. Okay, James McLean, 13-yard touchdown. Works for me. Hey, right, big fella, I see you. Intercepted. No, come on, man, jump for it. Why did you give up that huge gain? We can't have this. We just can't. This is ridiculous. Oh, look at Banks make the play. Oh. Beautiful. Fourth and four. Playing five wideouts. And thank God. Thank God. Whew. They will pay for being aggressive here. They don't even realize it because they're stupid. Oh, look at the block! Oh, man. Aaron Hardy. Daniel Alexander is so good in the slot because he's so fast, he can't be covered by linebackers. 
Oh, good catch! Right in the middle of traffic. He's so good. Oh, beautiful! Frank Clement, first down. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. Oh, Frank Clement! One-handed grab! Touchdown! Beautiful play! He's thrown his third touchdown pass. Wow! He's been letting it fly today, and his receivers are making Play of the year. Why do they get them all the time? That's like the third straight game that, that, that's happened. Whatever, dude. What the fuck ever. I don't care. It's first down. That was petty, but screw Auburn. I don't like them. That was ridiculous. They came up with the luckiest plays to even try and score. That that bomb just really irritated me. It did. It irritated the living crap out of me. And for that, we win again. Final score, UAB 52, Auburn 21. Justin Kelly, 20 of 29, 311 yards, 36 yards rushing, 5 total touchdowns. Another spectacular performance from him. As we are now 9-0 and on the season. And next week we take on Mississippi State in what could be an SEC showdown. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. Till then, my name is Still with Vengeance. Peace out.